Hello all, Dan from DroneBlog.com here. Today's video will be a beginner's walkthrough of setting up the DJI Flip for its first flight, from unboxing to installing the DJI Fly app. Now, whether you're new to drones or experienced, you might have noticed that the DJI Flip shares a unique aspect with the DJI Neo. You can fly the Flip with or without a remote controller. Flying without an RC is something that some DJI owners have wanted to see since the days of the DJI Spark and Rise Tello. Now it can be done, with a much better camera than either of those small, earlier model drones. So what comes in the box? Well, there are a few different flip combos that can currently be purchased. There's the DJI RCN3 kit, a DJI RC2 kit, and a DJI RC2 Fly More combo. Now the RCN3 kit comes with the DJI Flip, an RCN3 remote controller, one battery which is installed in the Flip, two spare propeller pairs, USB-C and Lightning RC cables, a gimbal guard, a silicone camera protector, screwdriver, and a USB-C charging and data cable. Now the RC2 kit includes the DJI Flip, but this one has an RC2 remote controller and then it has the same options as the DJI RCN3 kit. Now moving on to the DJI Flip Fly More combo. Here, this combo comes with everything mentioned in the standard DJI RC2 combo, but it adds two additional batteries for a total of three batteries, a four battery charging hub, it ups the spare propeller pairs to three, and it includes a shoulder bag. Now the DJI Flip is an entirely different looking drone from pretty much anything DJI has put out until now, even though it does share some similarities with the Neo. It has a substantially larger footprint than the DJI Neo and the DJI Mini lines of drones in general, while still remaining under the 250 gram sweet spot. Now starting with the front, a gimbal guard and an additional protective silicone sleeve protect the Flip's three-axis gimbal. To remove the gimbal protector, squeeze the protector with two fingers and pull the cover off. Then you can remove the gray silicone camera protector using the tab on the side. To check the available battery power on the installed battery, press the power button once. Now turning on and off the DJI Flip can be done in one of two ways. You can unfold the DJI Flip to automatically turn it on and fold it to turn it off. Or you can press, then press and hold the power button to turn it off, like with the regular traditional DJI drones. The Flip will make an audible signal when it turns on. Now here's something to note. The auto on and auto off features, this of course is where you unfold the drone and it turns on and you fold it and it turns off. This can be changed within the DJI Fly app. Now turning to flip once more, we see that there are two ports and an additional button. These are a micro SD card slot, a USB-C port, and a palm control mold selector. Now it's nice that DJI has returned to add a micro SD card slot for the DJI Flip, unlike the internal storage only of the DJI Neo. Now, as with most DJI drones, it is recommended to use micro SD cards up to 512 gig with the Flip. There is, though, an additional 2 gig of internal storage space for when your micro SD card is left at home. Now, similar to many DJI drones, the USB C port is used to do the following to charge a single battery when that's installed in the Flip and transfer footage from the Flip's 2 gig internal storage to a computer or mobile device. Now moving on to the Palm Control flight modes. Now like with the DJI Neo Intelligent flight modes, the DJI Flip Palm Control autonomous flight modes are Droney Circle Rocket Spotlight Direction Track Follow to choose the flight mode, press the mode selection button until you locate your desired mode, and then put the drone on your hand, and it'll go and run that mode. 
Here's something important to note. To use the palm control, you have to turn off or ensure that any of the connected remote controllers for the flip are turned off. Palm control modes are also limited to about a height of 98 feet and a distance of 164 feet. Now as we turn the flip over, we see that it has two primary sensors. Well, it's not completely protected from all sides like the Mini 4 Pro or Air 3 series. The sensors do assist in flight and some protection. The first sensor set is downward facing, being one visual sensor and an infrared sensor. And these are used to ensure precise hovering, enabling the flip to remain stable in low wind situations. The second sensor is the front facing 3D infrared sensing system. Now the FLIP's 3D infrared sensing system is a forward-facing obstacle detection system. It uses infrared technology to identify obstacles in front of the drone, which allows it to automatically break and avoid collisions. The unique aspect of this system is that it works even in low light conditions or at night. Now we're moving on to the intelligent flight batteries. Now, the batteries provide the flip with up to 31 minutes of flight time. To remove the battery, simultaneously press the tabs on the side of the battery and lift and slide out the battery. To put the battery back in, align the grooves on the battery with those on the flip and slide the battery in. You'll hear a click when the battery sits correctly. There's two different ways to charge the flip's batteries. As with most of DJI's newest drones though, a wall charger is not included. Now while DJI suggests using their 65 watt charger, they also acknowledge that any 65 watt or even 100 watt PD charger will work well. This has also been our experience as we use third party PD chargers. Now if you have either the DJI RCN3 or RC2 only kit, you will need to charge the flip's batteries while it's inserted in the flip. To charge the single battery within the flip, locate the USB-C port on the left side of the flip. Plug the supplied USB-C charging cable into the port and then into your charger. Now if you have the Fly More combo with the three batteries and battery hub, you will be able to charge all three batteries in the hub. Additionally, if you're using a charger rated at 65 watts or higher, two batteries can be charged in the hub simultaneously. To check how much battery power is left in the batteries, while in the charging hub, press the power button on the side of the hub. To charge the batteries within the battery hub, ensure that they are fully seated in the hub. Plug the charger, preferably at least 65 watts, into an outlet and then plug in the supplied USB-C cable into the hub. After a moment, you'll see the batteries begin to charge. Whether you have an RC uh, N3 or an RC2 remote controller, you'll also need to charge these RCs. So to charge either the RC N3 or RC2, locate the USB-C port on the bottom of the controller and plug it in. When charging starts, the LEDs on the front of the remote control will begin to blink, signifying charging. Now there's a convenient feature built into the FLIP's charging hub. With all three batteries attached to the hub, you can use this hub to charge various electronic devices. To charge devices through the charging hub, including the DJI remote controllers, plug one end of the DJI supplied USB-C data cable into the charging hub. Next, plug the other end of the USB-C cable into your device. Now with all the batteries inserted into the charging hub, press and hold the power button for approximately three to five seconds. Then you'll see your device begin charging. Then you can stop holding the power button. We'll now move on to the DJI Fly software. Now with all the batteries charged and ready to go, there is a very important step before you start to fly the flip. You'll need to have the DJI Fly app installed on your phone or electronic device if you have the RCN3. Of course, DJI Fly is already installed on the DJI RC2. If using an iPhone, you can search for the DJI Fly app in the Apple Store. 
The DJI Fly app for Android is only available online on DJI site. So to download the DJI Fly for Android, you'd have to do a Google search for DJI Download Center. Now in the results, you can choose DJI Fly and you'll be brought to the software downloads page. Now that you have the DJI Fly app installed, it's time to set up your DJI account. Now you can either do this from within the app on your cell phone or using the DJI RC2. Now if you're using the RC2, it's advised that for the initial setup, you connect to your DJI RC2 while near your home Wi-Fi. If you're setting the flip up away from home, you can connect to your phone's hotspot. So turn on the RC2 by pressing once on the power button, then immediately press and hold the power button. After the DJI splash screen appears, you should be brought to the Welcome to DJI RC2 screen. Scroll through the list and choose your language. After choosing your language, hit Next. Accept the terms and conditions, press Agree. Now choose your country or region and press Next. You'll then be prompted to connect to Wi-Fi or your hotspot. Now you'll need to connect to Wi-Fi if setting up a DJ account through the DJRC2. So connecting to Wi-Fi you want to choose your Wi-Fi network from the list of available networks. Enter your Wi-Fi or hotspot password. And after entering the password, press the blue check mark, then press OK at the top right of the screen. Select your time zone by tapping the current time zone on the screen, which might initially be Beijing. Then scroll through the list until you find your current time zone. Press Next. Press confirm on the note that pops up. Now if you have a DJI account, you can log in here or you can choose to create account. Now if you have a DJI RC N3 and you'd like to create a brand new account using the RC N3 without being connected to the RC N3, well from a cell phone or smart device, launch the DJI Fly app and go into profile. Once in the profile screen, go to Login. Input the phone, number, or email you'd like to register with and check off the I Have Read section at the bottom. If you already have a DJI login, you can input that information here. If you're creating your DJI account for the first time, enter the password that you'd like to use. Enter the CAPTCHA info and submit. Now after you've successfully created or logged into your DJI account with either your RCN3 or RC2 remote controllers, you'll be presented with the option to install the newest firmware. Now it is advisable to update the firmware, and this is on any DJI drone, as the new firmware ensures that the flip has all of the current features and bug fixes. To update the firmware, you'll need to have the flip powered on along with either the RCN3 or RC2 remote controllers. With the remote controller on and connected to either Wi-Fi or your device's cellular data, remove the gimbal cover and the gray silicone camera protector from the DJI Flip. Unfold the Flip's arms or motors, and this should power on the Flip. If your Flip does not automatically power on, manually power on the Flip with a single press then press and hold the power button. After the flip connects to DJI Fly, you may be asked to activate your flip. Choose the option that best suits your needs here. After activating the flip, you should receive a message that there are firmware updates available. Choose Update. You'll see a percentage animation showing the installation process. The initial firmware update may take as long as 5 to even 10 minutes. Your DJI RC2 or RCN3 as well as the DJI Flip should reboot a number of times. Go ahead and let the process run fully. Now once the update is complete, you may need to manually power on the Flip to get ready for your initial flight. Well that's all for this video. If you like this video and would like to see more content, please like and subscribe. For more tutorials and reviews, 
feel free to head over to DroneBlog.com. Thank you.